The Storm Team Weather Center has been active tonight. Those tornado warnings started going out a little after 7 o'clock, and then it was just nonstop after that. Yeah, and they were really slow moving storms, and that's what kind of added to the timeline just a bit. Mm. But our storm team was here, Nate Harrington was here, and we had everyone covered tonight. But I want to tell you what, we finally started to see a little calming trend. So that's good news. I think folks can rest easy tonight. I want to start off with a live picture. This is our Storm Team Tower Cam. In Tuscaloosa. Now, there was some rain much earlier today in Tuscaloosa, but for the most part, West Alabama has stayed relatively quiet today. Temperatures right now in T Town, 79 degrees. But notice those dew point values at 75. Well, that's going to mean things feel awfully muggy outside. The closer your dew point is to your temperature, well, your air temperature, that's the very saturated air mass. But let's get right to the radar and what's left of these storms. Notice the storms moving off into Rome, Georgia. That's the same storm system that produced a tornado earlier in northern part of Coleman County. Here's what remains in Coleman County, though. Another little pulse of energy has moved through. Some light rain in Vinemont right now, but nothing severe. So that's some welcome relief, even if it's just a bit of wet weather. Hopefully the rain is not impacting cleanup efforts all that much, but I know a lot of crews have been dispatched to help cleaning up, whether it's trees, down power lines, or even some damages to some structures there. We're looking at heavier rain from Geraldine all the way back towards Sardis City. And then as we look at Center and Graysville, Things quieter now. As we look along I-20, pretty much from the Oxford Aniston exit all the way towards Heflin, we're seeing just a little patch of wet weather. And then the Birmingham Metro, high and dry tonight. And as we move deeper into the evening hour, it looks like this is the rest of the rainfall, so we can rest easy overnight tonight. And the threat for severe weather has gone down. We no longer under that slight risk for severe weather. We've dropped back into a marginal category, meaning on a scale of one to five. We're on that one, uh, the one now, but um, it does look like by tomorrow we could see seeing a little bit more active weather again. So let's not let our guard down just yet. Temperatures right now low to mid 70s. So for tonight, not budging much from that. Storms will be fading. Those temperatures are holding in the low 70s. But let's talk about the rain we could be looking at for your Saturday. As we move through the early morning hours, pretty quiet out there. There could just be a couple of hints of wet weather down to our south early tomorrow morning. But for the most part, just a mostly cloudy start to the day. And by 1 o'clock, maybe a couple of showers along and north of I-20 and east of 65. But the rain that we see tomorrow is going to be very sporadic. Notice high temperatures rebounding into the mid to upper 80s and where we see a bit more sunshine closer to 90. We dry out for good Saturday night and even sunshine is back early on Sunday morning. But I want you to notice, look at these temperatures Sunday afternoon. We are talking mid 90s. So the heat's back as we round out the weekend. Another little chance of rain Monday, but then the, the forecast will trend more quietly next week. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Sherry. Ashley, thank you.